In this video, I wanted to give you an overview of blitzing concepts that you can apply to the Madden 23 beta and also that I believe will actually stay consistent with the course that the game is on. And the reason I think that I can speak with such clarity on this is I've played Madden for a really long time and I understand the betas, while they're not necessarily the complete edition of the game, the core engine is gonna essentially still exist. It's why Escape Artists and Zones were so bad in Madden 22 beta, and they also were very bad in Madden 22. Um, the same is going to be applied to Madden 23 with a little bit of a nuance, but by and large, this is something that you can pretty much bank on in terms of consistency. And when I teach and talk about people getting a lot of questions about Madden 23, what do I think of the game? I personally really like the game, at least where it's at right now. I think there's some things that they need to do uh, to make it better for launch. But those are primarily tuning things um, that they can do. That being said, what I'm going to show you today, in my opinion, is the best day one blitzing scheme. They actually removed weak boxing in Madden 23, meaning that in Madden 22, if I come out in a goal line set and you come out in a dollar set, your dollar or dime defense cannot basically hold up against the run consistently. Now, I'm not saying that you can stop goal line every time with quarters defense by any means. But what I am saying is the way the game plays and the way the game works, the fact that linebackers can't jump still, they're very, very pointless in the passing game unless they have lurker. Um, the fact that the pressure perspectives that I'm going to show you in a second is alongside of the coverage concepts are really good in dollar and dime sets. Um, I think you're going to find a lot of success with dime 146. Dime 146 is a defense that has been good in Madden for a very long time. And it's making its return in Madden 23. And I'm going to talk about why in this video. I want to show you something that I think is really interesting. It's going to be a little bit difficult to show in Madden 22, but I am going to show you something. Um, and then we're going to give you an actual setup that I recommend for if you're going to want to run the Dime 146. Now, Dime 146, one of the things that's really interesting, if you take a look at Dime 146, and then I want you to take a look at Nickel 335. Why? The difference between the two is, one of the biggest differences is that Dime 146 is a symmetrical formation. What that basically means is you don't have to have auto flip on um, to basically run this set against strong or weak sets, right? If they're in twin sets, they're going to just kind of roll the corners over. So what I like to do with this is first and foremost, we want to take auto flip off. I like to put this on base align. You don't have to. I'm going to show you something that you can do with this on baseline in just a second. Um, and then ball in air defense, we're going to put that on play receiver and option defense on conservative. Now, with Dime 146, you'll see that the audibles, if I go to my audible menu, you've got cover two sync, you've got cover three sky. This is two four man blitzes that are at your disposal. You have an all out man blitz if you choose to keep that. If you want to replace this man coverage, I would really recommend replacing that man coverage with cover one robber. Do not run cover two man. Cover one robber is much better um, because of the way that the zone logic plays. Now, DB Sting 2, I actually normally will take that out and put cover six press in there because I love match coverage. Now, what you want to do with Dive 146 is you want to come out in DB Sting 2 buzz every single time. The reason you want to come out in DB Sting 2 buzz every single time is because you'll notice if I come out in Tampa 2, and I'll show you real quickly, if I come out in Tampa 2, and let's say that I'm playing, you know, bunch, what you'll notice with this is you see that my linebacker on the, le on the left is not in the gap, okay? So it's not a huge deal but I think it's something that you want to take a look at. And then also if I show Blitz, I want you to see something real quick. You see what I just did? When I show Blitz out of Dime 146, it brings this safety in a really good position to play seam streaks. And then all I have to do is walk this guy down. And now I have a really, really aggressive defense. In Madden 23, the seam streaks are really the only thing, in my opinion, that people are going to be able to do against this Blitz if you run it the right way. Okay, there obviously are other things, but it's going to make it much, much more difficult by compressing the set. So what you'll see is when I come out in DB Sting 2 Buzz, I want you to notice something. Now look, the linebackers and this guy comes in. So all I have to do is show blitz. Now I can bring this guy down, bring this guy down. Now from here, I can honestly, if I want to send six, then I'll just crash my line down and we'll send six. 
And I want to use the linebacker on the side of the running back. And what you'll see is we'll get really good pressure. Now, it doesn't do it justice what happens in Madden 22. And to illustrate this best, I think it's best to use cover three. So when I audible, you'll notice that my guys don't move, which is also another thing that I think is really cool. So I can bring this guy down. Be in cover three, I got a roll coverage. Um, in Madden 23, this little roll coverage right here is really good. But I want you to watch if I were to put a contain out here on Cockrell. Watch his angle of, of his uh, blitz. And what you'll see is he loops around. Now that's a little bit more indicative of what is going to be consistent in Madden 23. But I want to make a quick disclaimer you do not want to contain in Madden 23, at least right now. Um, from my testing and what I've seen, the blitz actually works better if he's on his stock blitz angle. He'll get a better loop. But what you'll see here is he'll loop around the lineman. Okay? That's the whole concept of Dime 146. Now, over here, you get basically the same idea if you want to send this guy. So I'll give you another example. So let's say I audible to cover two sync now. You see how they move into proper placement like that? That's what makes this so good. So if I show blitz, you know, I could do this, boom, boom, send the corner on the side there. And now I've got a five-man version with both guys on contains. You don't want to put them on contains in Madden 23. In Madden 22, you can. And what you'll see is a lot of times you'll get a looper to come in. In Madden 22, or in Madden 23, um, it's much better if you don't contain, which is even better for us. It's a step that we don't have to do. So literally you could come out in DB sting two buzz, crash your line down, throw that linebacker on the right in the middle third, you know, shade coverage down or whatever you want to do. I like to bring these guys down into the box. It really does help a lot. And then you've got a really, really, really good blitz. Okay. Now to me, this is the best blitz day one blitz in the game, or at least the best blitzing scheme. Because what we can do off of this is, because it's all from the same look, right? We're just going to basically play from these audibles. So now I go to cover one robber and notice this. There's not a significant tell because we're base aligned and we came out in zone and audible to the man. If you want a significant tell, you can manually press circle right there. But now you have everybody in a good press alignment. And this is going to play really good. It's just simple cover one man-to-man -man coverage, as you can see. Man-to-man uh, -man coverage is much better in Madden 23. Pretty much everything on defense is better in Madden 23. Um, but what I'm, I'm just telling you right now, this is this is a really, really good blitz. You see here that um, – and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was how to run baseline against spread sets. This is why I like to show blitz, and I'll show you real quickly here. So if you look at this play Y option, let's say spread like trip sets, spread sets, right? If I come out in this right here and I press, I want you to look at this corner on the right. You're going to see that he's misaligned. So what happens is this receiver gets essentially a free release. And if I did something like this, you'll see that I can just hit this fade over and over and over again. Now I do want to say in Madden 23, it's still very difficult to hit that throw uh, consistently. But if there is a window, that's one of the windows. How do we stop that? How do we stop that? Show blitz. Watch what happens when I show blitz. Now, if I want to slide these guys in, I certainly can. I don't think you need to. I would rather leave them out. And what I like about show blitz is show blitz is a feature. I actually figured this out out of Big Nickel. But it adapts this to the play. So now, if I put a cloud flat out there and they try to run that same combo like so now I'm gonna get a reroute and now my safety has a chance to get back on the ball in Madden 23 they play that much better okay they play that much 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 better but by showing blitz you get these guys down in the box get this guy down in the box like so now you I would recommend using this guy I shouldn't have moved the other guy but whatever um, you know so just imagine this guy being down here which is where he should be but anyways um, you know and then I can just sit and Sit here and say, okay, well, which side the running back's on? We're going to send pressure opposite running backs. We put a vert hook there. You know, we send five. And as you can see, you know, it's one of the best blitzes in Madden 22, but it's definitely probably, I think, the best day one defense in Madden 23. If you want to learn more about Dime 146 and how to run it in Madden 23, join our Patreon. Our Patreon gives you access to everything. All of my Madden 
ebooks, Madden 22 ebooks. Right now, we're actually going to be releasing Madden 23 training camp videos in there um, to kind of prepare you. We're also building a vault. Um, what I like about the vault is it's essentially a library, if you will, of, of resources that we've put together over the several years that I've been creating content for Madden, stemming all the way back to Madden 12. Different routes, concepts, things that transfer year to year. We're working on that right now for the website as well. But I would really encourage you, if you want to get better at Madden, join our Patreon. You'll get all my ebooks. I've got over 30 offensive and defensive ebooks, more than any website um, in the Madden creation space. So I would really encourage you to take a look at it. We talk about everything, uh, and, and we're going to be bringing a lot of content in Madden 23. Um, we're just getting started. So we're going to be ramping up stuff for July. Uh, July is, to my opinion, July is training camp month. And so as we look to July, I just want to encourage you consider grabbing that Patreon because um, we're going to actually be uh, putting in there day one schemes that you can start practicing right now that will equip you to be effective in Madden 23 at launch. So a lot of stuff in July. We're basically building for August and July. Really encourage you. I think some of the stuff we're going to drop over there in the next couple weeks on Patreon is going to be the best stuff in the Madden creation space for the entire Madden 23 season because it's concepts it's things that transfer year to year it's teaching you how to think teaching you how to fish and so i'd really encourage you to check that out link is in the description if you want to go grab it it's only 10 bucks to sign up get access to over 30 ebooks immediately and any new stuff that we put out thanks for watching